think we can all agree that one of the worst parts about traveling abroad is not being able to communicate with the people you meet along the way. You know, most language learning programs only teach you useless phrases you'll never use, like, how many carrots are in your basket? And, ah, yes, you have four carrots in your basket. <laughs> You're never going to use that in conversation. That's not how you talk, sir. So that's why I developed a program, a language learning program, that teaches you how to uh, speak in phrases that you'll actually use, uh, just common everyday expressions for your trip to France, like, Where is the disco that all the young and sexy people like to boogie down at? <laughs> also, could you point me in the part of town, the seedy part of town, so I can discreetly pay for sex? Or how about... This disco sucks. Could you please point me to the seedy part of town so I can discreetly pay for sex? Look, I've been to Europe, and these are the phrases I wish I knew beforehand. You know, popular Italian expressions like... Sorry to bother you, but I was on my way to the seedy part of town to discreetly pay for sex when a young group of teens ambushed me and stole my clothes and wallet. That is why my body is currently naked. If you could spare a plate of spaghetti, I'd gladly be on my way. Or how about... Please don't make me beg for spaghetti. I've had enough problems as it is. The police want me arrested for running naked through a playground full of kids. And you, and you won't get far in Seville, Spain unless you know how to say, Los Gustos. This is a lovely farm you have. How many carrots are in your basket? Ah, yes, you have four carrots in your basket. I would like to seek refuge in your horse stable. Also, could you please point me to the direction of the seedy part of town so I can for sex. I am a fugitive from the law. <laughs> Look, I've been to Europe once, so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this, is, this is the kind of stuff I was trying to say all the time. You know, popular colloquialisms like... Is it cool if I wear this wooden barrel as clothing so I can <laughs> protect my raw and exposed uh, genitals from the elements? <laughs> also, just so you know, I did try to start a fire in your stable, and I did set it ablaze, and your horses are currently burning alive. <laughs> so if you could please point me to the seedy part of town to discreetly pay for sex, that would be great. Guys, if your trip to Europe is anything like mine, you will not be allowed back. <laughs> but that shouldn't stop you from learning how to communicate with the people you meet on your travels. You know, travels that might take you to places like here in New York City. <laughs> can someone please direct me to the seedy part of town so that I can discreetly pay for sex? I think this pervert can help me. <laughs>